Welcome back. Before we jump into this video, I just wanted to send a huge shout out and heartfelt congratulations to Mark and Jen from Every Man and Woman Has a Story on the arrival of their adorable baby boy. Better late than never. He's quite the unique case. You see, his dad, Mark, is actually older than both his grandpa and grandma, Jen's parents. Also, his mom, Jen, is also older than his half-sisters, Mark's daughters from a previous relationship. With such an interesting family dynamic, I have a feeling this little one is destined to be a captivating character. Maybe Mark should consider interviewing him on his channel sometime in the future. Anyway, let's get into the video. You don't give them shit! Are you hear me? I'm telling you, you don't give them shit. Jack shit. You don't give them nothing. Zero. Silch. They can fucking work for themselves. They were there before you eating, and they will be there after you eating. Don't be such a fucking simp. The brother can fucking work. The dad can fucking work. He can go out there and fucking beg. The mother can go out there and sell her ass, whatever it fucking takes. Who gives a fuck? You don't owe nobody nothing. We need to support our parents. So basically, the, the cultural thing supporting our parents is something enshrined in our civil code. Right. Yeah. Specifically, Article 195 of our civil code. Article 195 enumerates um, the people who are obliged to support each other. Okay. One of which is the parents and their legitimate children and the legitimate children of those children. Basically, um, parents and children has to support each other. It's a mutual obligation. Okay. So if you see it the way that when the parents are, are at the time of their lives that they need the support from their children who are already at the time of their lives capable to provide support, then the parents can invoke support from their um, children. So under a civil code, it, um, 195 enumerates those people who are obliged to support each other and 194, Article 194, defines what supports uh, what the term support means. Okay. So basically, the term support comprises everything indispensable for sustenance, for dwelling, for clothing, for medical attendance, education, transportation, and everything else in keeping with the financial capacity of the family. This is the inside of the house. You can see it still needs a lot of work, and of course, the wind blew in leaves and dirt and everything and everything's kind of a mess because they had to rush to put things in where they wouldn't get wet. You know, cement floor and cement walls, they didn't have that before. It's actually a luxury. I threw a little bit of money on to his house to put some windows in, render the outside, the inside, smooth everything out. We built a porch, which is, I think, their favorite room now because it's very airy and, yeah, and really and, nice. And it's stuck all the way. Yeah, and right, with a roof. And I've extended the original roof to over the, uh, well, the, the old roof was replaced and then we did the patio roof also. Also, uh, put the rest of the windows in and we put doors in and the front door and two bedroom doors that didn't have bedroom uh, doors on them. And it, and it wasn't that expensive, it was just, hey, you know. What did you spend, if you don't mind saying, approximately? About $4,500. Yeah, so, yeah. so this is a guy, you know, who, uh, contractual relationship, and he spends, you know, over $4,000, you know, fixing up your family. Helping your Filipino companion's family is not just a financial matter, it's an investment in relationships and a reflection of your values. It's important, however, to discuss and agree upon the nature and extent of this support with your wife to ensure it aligns with both of your expectations and capabilities. 